Thank you for your purchase of Roxim. My name is Tim Van Milligan. I'm going to show you how to install Roxim on your Mac. So first thing you're going to do is go and check your email because in your email you're going to get two emails from us. Um, if they're not showing up, either give it a little bit of time or check your spam because sometimes emails end up in spam. The first one is just your order confirmation and on that order you'll find a Roxim key listed um, and that's right there. Um, on the other email, it's going to be a little bit more apparent. Um, it's going to give you a download link and it's going to give you that product key. Um, so you're going to want to highlight that and copy it. So on your keyboard, use Command C, hold down that after you've highlighted it, and that copies it to your clipboard. Now we want to go ahead and download Roxim and use that link provided or if if you don't have that link you can always download the free trial version or if the free trial version was already installed on your computer you can activate that um, so you it's not necessary that you actually download unless you want to make sure it's the absolute latest version because our website always has the latest version on it so mine is already downloaded and it's in my downloads folder so I'm going to open my downloads folder and double click on that Macintosh uh, install and it will start unpacking it for you. Uh, once it's done, just take the folder and then drag it into the application. It's just right there on that very screen. And you can see it installed it. And now you can just go and open up your applications folder and you'll find the newest version of Roxim there. Now if you had an old version, that old version is still there. Um, so all your old designs are in a completely different design folder from your new one right now. So let's open that up. Um, here is that new design folder. So you might want to drag your old designs into this design folder. Um, you'll also see your application of Roxim and Engine Edit. Engine Edit is a separate program that comes bundled with Roxim. It's for rocket motor designers that are creating their own motors. If you're just using NAR and Tripoli certified rocket motors, you don't actually need to use Engine Edit at all. Most people don't. Um, it's really only for people designing their own motors so that they can bring them into Roxim. Uh, so I'm going to double click on Roxim and get that started. Uh, while that's coming up, you can also drag that Roxim icon onto your dock down at the bottom of your screen. Um, and that way you can launch Roxim anytime you want. So when I first started it here, it's saying uh, Roxim is not activated, the product key not activated. So we need to run the activation program. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to ask us, oops, put it underneath here. This is kind of in the way. That should have gone away. Um, so we want to activate Roxim 10 now. So we'll click on that and then we'll paste that product key that we've copied into there. Um, now if you've ever lost that email and you need to reinstall Roxim again, you can always find that activation key on our website when you log into your account. Let me get that out of the way. So here I'm back at the Apogee website. And so if I um, log in, okay, so now I am logged in. Um, and then you go to my account. And you'll see under here is Roxim keys. And so this is where they're stored in case you ever lose that email. So here's that same key that we've used. And we're, of course, we're going to deactivate this one. So this is not a valid key anymore. Um, so now Roxim, we come back to here. Um, come on. Okay, so here is the, uh, we need to click on activate Roxim 10 now, and we'll go ahead and click there, and you can see it's successfully updated. And then we just hit finish, and we're going to click exit the, ex the program, and this is going to close down Roxim, but you can just restart it back up. 
Okay, so now this time, you see this escape to continue, you can just hit escape key on your keyboard and that gets rid of that flash screen so you can get into Roxim really quick. So that was installing Roxim. If you want to learn how to use it, uh, we really recommend going back to the Apogee website, go to the how to and guides menu, um, click on software, and then the Roxim video tutorials. And we recommend that you start right here at the very top with getting started by opening an existing design and running a simple simulation. All the how-to information for Roxim is listed here. We even have even more videos available every Friday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time Zone, which is 12 noon Eastern. That's Fridays, 12 noon Eastern. We have a Facebook Live where we take your questions on how to use Roxim and how to get the most out of it. So thanks again for purchasing Roxim. If you have any questions, come to that Facebook Live. We'll be happy to help you out.